Newsbeat's John Treeweiler begins our live team coverage in the newsroom. John? That's absolutely right, Anna and Lucas. President Barack Obama made one of the toughest decisions a president has to make earlier this weekend, that of sending the U.S. military in to capture and hunt down one of the most wanted men in the world. Ever since the tragedy of September 11th, Americans have waited over a decade for Osama bin Laden to be held accountable for his actions. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. Obama issued the order late Friday to send U.S. Special Forces in. The raid went down just 35 miles outside of Islamabad, where about 40 Special Forces members found bin Laden in a fortress-like compound and after a brief firefight, killed and took custody of his body. We were not going to put our people at risk. The president put a premium on making sure that our personnel uh, were protected and we were not going to give bin Laden or any of his cohorts the opportunity to carry out uh, lethal fire on our forces. Uh, he was engaged uh, and he was killed in the process. Rose Economou, a journalism professor and international expert at Columbia College Chicago, says this day was a long time coming. The, ca the, the capture and death of Osama bin Laden would have been an incredible event if it had happened five years ago. However, Economou and White House officials warned that retaliation could be near. And if we're being very naive, if we think that they're not going to try to attack us, uh, both here and abroad. That the battle to stop al-Qaeda and its syndicate of terror will not end with the death of bin Laden. Officials and terrorism experts are warning Americans to be much more vigilant and on high alert. President Barack Obama will mark Osama bin Laden's death at ground zero on Thursday. Joining us now with a more local look on this historic moment is our very own Allison Rodriguez, live on Michigan Avenue.